Hello everyone, this is TJ here, and you might be wondering what is this video about. But first, the intro. You must have been seeing some amazing time lapses over your Instagram and YouTube feed, but you might be wondering how to make them. So, you can now do it on your Android device. Making such time lapses is very easy when you're using some professional time lapse application. So nowadays most of the phone comprises of inbuilt time lapse mode in the camera, but the problem with it is that it doesn't allow you to set the frames or the time interval of the capture. It just is inbuilt and captures with the inbuilt settings that are enforced on the phone. But by using some professional applications, you can create time lapses with your own enhanced settings. So, I refer more than one application, but not all of them allows you to render videos in your smartphone itself. But guess what? Lapsit Pro does it. Before you gaze over the internet to download Lapsit Pro, you need to know about the settings that Lapsit Pro comprises of. So there are two phases in the settings, the capture settings and the render settings. First we'll see the time scale. The time scale can be measured in milliseconds, seconds and minutes. I usually keep it on seconds and frame interval is 1 frames per second. So the application will take 1 picture per second. So if you want to create a 30 frames per second video, 30 second video will be converted into 1 second time lapse video. It might sound a little bit confusing but uh, you will get the hang of it once you use the application. So the limit mode includes 3 modes, the user, frames and timer. If it's set on user, you have to stop the time lapse whenever you want. If it's on frames, so the device will automatically stop recording at certain frames. And if it's on timer, the device will stop recording after a specific period of time. The resolution there are 5 types of resolution 360p, 480p, 720p, 1080p and full sensor. Full sensor images cannot be rendered in phone so you need a computer to render full sensor images. If you want to make and render time lapse on your smartphone itself, you need to capture the time lapses in 1080p. And we got more capture settings like focus mode, shutter sound, background capture. That doesn't really matter much but focus mode here must be kept on fixed because if it's set on auto, it might uh, create some blurry images and hence your time lapse might be ruined. We have the background capture, it captures the background sound so you can partially enable it, fully enable it or disable it. And further we have compatibility mode. So if your phone can't handle the stress of the application, you can try running it in the compatibility mode. So it might be helpful in those situations when the application shows some errors. Screen brightness is another option. So when you are making 2-3 to three hours of time lapses, your screen brightness might drain your battery. So you can set the screen brightness from 0-100%. to 100%. I just keep it near 20%. So you can schedule time lapses. I think there's no need to schedule some time lapses. You might want to keep the output folder to the place where there's a lack of storage because making some time lapses requires more storage for the images than the rendered video. Then we jump to the render settings. So here we have three encoder options. If you have the H.264 encoder option available, you might want to choose this option because it helps in faster rendering of the time lapse video. The quality must be set to very high else the rendered video might be of poor quality. So you can set the frames per second in the render settings, file name and format, we don't mess around with that setting. Promotional ending, we just leave it to disable and that's all with the settings. So to download Lapsit Pro for Android, you need to refer to the link in the description below or for iOS devices, you need to buy it for $2.99. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand.